So I have some pretty cool 10 millimeters and we're gonna be comparing them today. Both made by Springfield Armory. First up, Springfield Armory XDM Elite OSP 10 millimeter. This is the 4.5 inch. This just came out and this thing is brand spanking new as of when this video was filmed. Here is a Springfield Armory XDM Elite OSP 10 millimeter. This is a 3.8 inch. Obviously, the glaring difference between the two is going to be the size. This is 4.5, this is 3.8. But just because it's a little bit bigger does not mean it's necessarily the one that you want. Let's talk about it and compare. So I did just get the 4.5 inch model, but the 3.8 inch model I've had for a few months now. By the time you see this, I have done a video on each of these guns. That being said, I find them both to be very good guns, both together, like both of them, good guns. They're almost identical. They're pretty much sisters of each other minus size, but Again, there's a couple pros and cons for each one, and let's talk about some of those pros and cons. So again, everything is the same construction. In fact, you can actually kind of like swap the frames on each of the slides, and they fit, and they lock in, and everything. I don't know if that's recommended by Springfield. I haven't reached out to them and asked them, but you can literally take this 3.8 inch slide and stick it on the 4.5 inch frame, then you basically have a compact 10 millimeter with a full size grip. Let's talk about construction quality of both of these. You do have a steel slide with a melanite finish. You have a match grade barrel. Both of them are optics cut. They have a U-shaped rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. And again, like I said, they, do, they are optics ready, so they have an optics cut. However, one drawback for both of them together is they're not co-witnessing. Since these are not suppressor high sights, they cannot see over the body of the red dot. So that's kind of a negative. You can, you can swap them out. The Actually the OSP, the nine millimeter Elite OSP does have those suppressor high sights, which are pretty nice. They do co-witness with that Hex Dragonfly. So you do have the option to purchase the version with the Hex Dragonfly on it, just like these two have the Hex Dragonflies, um, again, they both don't co-witness, so but I'm not going to beat that dead horse too much. You do have other optic options if you want to just get the optics ready version, install some new, some different type of optic. Totally up to you if that's what you guys want to do. I'm going to say if I had to pick one of them, if I just had to jump right to the question, this one has more benefits and perks that I would choose um, if I was to, if I needed a 10 millimeter. Springfield XDM Elite OSP. The 10 millimeter with capacity. First of all, it's a 10 millimeter. It's a very spicy round. It bites. It's a 10, it's a powerful round. So that being said, one of my complaints, even though the 3.8 inch works really well and I've fired this a lot, my biggest complaint with the 3.8 inch is there's no place to put your pinky. It just sort of hangs off the side here. I do have bigger hands, so that's kind of an issue. However, with the 4.5 inch, you'll notice I have a full handful of gun right over here. Very comfortable to grab, really good purchase on the gun. Not to mention, with a bigger grip comes larger capacity on the magazine. This behemoth right over here holds 16 plus one rounds, whereas this guy holds 11 plus one rounds. So the capacity is a huge benefit. I mean, you're talking about a significant difference, five more rounds in this gun. So it's more comfortable and it has five more rounds. I'm not actually gonna bring up sight radius, the longer sight radius. The reason I'm not gonna bring it up is because they both have red dots on it. So you're not using that, utilizing that sight radius anyways. A couple upgrades that I probably wanna do to both of these things is install those suppressor high sights. So I'm a big proponent of co-witness sight. I think the benefits are definitely worth it. Um, red dots can fail. Anything electronic can fail. Even, I mean, iron sights can technically fail if you beat on them or something, but having that co-witness is big, having a backup plan. The longer slide, I'm sure there's also better ballistics out of a slightly longer barrel too, but let's talk about the benefits of this little guy.
So what's interesting about this little fella is this actually came with a magwell, but that magwell made it harder to grab because there's no place to put your pinky. It just sort of hangs off the side. When the magwell was on there, your pinky was kind of pushed out here. It's kind of split off because your pinky can't get in there with that magwell blocking the way. So I took the magwell off. The nice thing is this is more concealable. I mean, this gun is pretty thick. However, the thickness is all right. You can still carry this thing inside the waistband. You can conceal with it. It's not obnoxiously thick, um, but it's pretty compact. You do have a short slide and you have a really short grip. So you can take this 10 mil and stick it inside your waistband and it won't be too awkward. If I carry a 10 millimeter, I'm probably gonna be carrying it open carry some way or inside a backpack or something like that. I'll probably either carry this on my hip or I'll carry this thing on a backpack, on a shoulder holster. 10 millimeter is a really good round for hiking, for hunting, power, capacity, and shootability of that round. Makes it a good option for bear country for some people too. So I would probably carry the big guy personally. So what's interesting about these two is they actually have the same MSRP. I believe from last time I checked, both of the MSRPs on these guns are 653. It's 653 without the optic, just for the gun that the optic's ready gun, but not with the optic. That's a really, really good value because you're getting a lot of gun, you're getting a full power 10 millimeter firearm um, for a really good price. So that's the MSRP. More than likely your MSRP is gonna be on the higher end. You'll probably find some pretty good deals online, maybe for like the low fives. Like I said, if I had to pick between these two, I would pick the larger 4.5 inch version just because I love a good full sized 10 millimeter handgun. It really helps with the recoil mitigation and all that. I was able to shoot the compact one just fine, but really the larger size is a huge benefit plus the larger capacity. The magazines in the 4.5 inch also fit inside the 3.8 inch firearm. So you can take those 4.5 inch 16 round magazines and shove them inside your 3.8 if that's what you want to do. Now, in regards to swapping slides, let me show you an example of what I was talking about. So right here, you have the full size. This is the 4.5 inch XDM Elite OSP. Let's turn this into a 3.8 with a full size grip. And no, I'm not gonna show you on camera how I'm doing it, what with, what with YouTube and whatnot. Check this guy out right here. Like I said, I'm not gonna condone you guys doing this because I have not talked to Springfield. I don't know what the recoil spring weight is on this thing. So for all we know, we would have to change out the spring tension to safely do this without beating your gun up too bad. But I took the 4.5 inch XDM Elite OSP frame and put the 3.8 inch slide on it and it operates just fine. It locks back. It's the same exact dimensions minus a longer grip as the 3.8. So if you want like a hybrid, like a short little stubby 10 mil with a full grip for grabbing and capacity, larger magazines again. I'm totally gonna try this by the way. So I'm probably gonna do a video 100% just on swapping the slides and frames because that's kind of cool and yeah, love it. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video interesting. I would love for you guys to leave a comment in the comment section below. And um, yeah, thank you all so much. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Wolf, so he lives in the woods that we make up snare, bring it, send it, I make such a...